Hi all. Today I'm going to make a chair arm cover for like a task chair or an office chair. And if you want, you can layer some cushion in the um, inside part and then just uh, make it a little bit longer so that it'll stand up. And uh, you can put elastic along the edge if you want or a drawstring. So we're going to measure the length and the uh, width. This is a 10 by, at the widest part, 3 inches. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. So I'm going to do a, a single crochet uh, starting foundation chain um, and that will make it so that the edges on both sides are um, the same so when I crochet around it will um, I'd have the same type of uh, a stitch to work into so if you need more information on how to do the uh, single crochet uh, foundation chain, I have a, a much more detailed video that will uh, give you all the, the ins and outs on how to do this. Otherwise you can do a just a, a single, uh, just a chain, chain stitch and uh, work into uh, both sides of the chain stitch when you go around. Um, I like this also because it's a little stretchy so that helps uh, hold it on the arm the armrest. But I'm going to speed up here and um, if you need to slow down the video you can or you can like I said uh, click the link in the description box below and you can go into a little more detail how to, to do a foundation chain. So I think I've gone as far as I, I want to. About nine and a half inches before I decided to turn. I just go straight into the first stitch. I don't do any um, chain stitch. Just make my first single crochet. When you get to the end, you want to try to find the middle and start to um, turn your corner by putting in three stitches. And I uh, crochet over the edge, over the, uh, the loose tail when I get around to the, the other side. I do that for, you know, three stitches or so, and then I just keep going around until I get to the other side. And I just put in stitches uh, to help make it turn. If you see that you're pulling to the left, just put another stitch in. I'm sorry, pulling to the right, just put another stitch in. And uh, try to get your um, stitches to stand straight up and down. But when they're when they're leaning like that, you need to just put in another stitch, and uh, it'll get easier to find a stitch as you um, no longer have to work into that uh, edge. And here I'm pulling the stitch down because the edge was. Uh, it was hard to find that first stitch.
Just keep putting single crochets across, one in each. And when you get to the corners, you'll see. Uh, there's no hard and fast rule. I don't say you have to put in so many stitches here and there. I just look at the stitches as I'm making them. And if they start to look like they're leaning back, then I need to add another stitch in to help them. Start to turn the corner. One thing about um, doing your corners this way as you turn, you're not trying to put the same uh, stitches in each, each round. You don't want to um, make it look like a hexagon or a square. So having a, a little bit more freedom to put your stitches in where you think they fit will allow your your uh, your ends to look a little bit more rounded. periodically check to see how it's coming along. You want it to um, meet the size minimum of 10 by 3 for this particular arm, but your arm may be different.
I just want to uh, reiterate that I am uh, skipping the long sides. Um, when you see me get to each corner, it's because I've, I've done single crochet across until I get to the corner and then I turn the camera on to show you, you know, how I get through this uh, corner. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just crochet in the back loop only. Um, and I won't increase at all. I will just go one single crochet in the back loop only in one round only. This is the edge. It will make a like a fold so that um, yeah, it'll, it'll turn much neater. As you can see, it... it creates an edge there. So just go on around one uh, single crochet in the back loop only until you get to the uh, other side where you started the back loop only. Now when you get to the other side, uh, you've gone around once, start putting your uh, single crochets into both loops. Make it as long as you want it to be to cover the sides. So this is the finished product that will cover the um, chair arms. And you don't even need a uh, elastic if you don't want to. It'll just sit right on there. And uh, you can take them off and wash them. And it's really nice to have a clean arm rest. Thanks for watching. Crochet Your Way Today with Tina.